Hi, my name is Sam Johnson and I am a voice teacher. Today I'm going to be reacting to and analyzing Ginger performing Pisces. So everything so far has been under her first bridge. It's been, I think, the highest that she's gone as a G. It sounds mostly like she's speaking on pitch. It's sung because she has nice longer phrases and that's pretty much all it is, but she's not modifying her voice in a way that sounds different from how she would speak, pretty much. It's a very clear, good sound. I really like what she's done so far. So now I'm kind of excited to see how she handles higher notes as I assume she's gonna go towards some higher notes towards the chorus. She set everything up well so far. That was really good. That was super controlled. It was a pretty even volume all the way through. I don't think that she was pushing into it very much. She just, that's the thing about these really intense vocals is if you start pushing into them too much, it's gonna have to be really, really difficult. But if you just let it be a really aggressive sound, but you don't like push to try to get that sound, then you get this awesome result of the ability to color your voice in this way, but not wrecking your voice. And she'll be able to come back to doing cleans right after because she wasn't just banging her vocal cords together to try to get this weird sound, or it wasn't from abuse, this sound. The sound is a controlled choice that she's making. she's a little bit higher it's still not like above her bridge or a super high note or anything but she has lightened her voice up a little bit to allow it to start working in this higher place a little bit more she's not trying to push what worked at the bottom to start hitting higher notes the result she still does sound like herself it's a pretty spoken sound but it's a little bit lighter than what she was doing before because she's being conscious that she's singing a little bit higher the beginning of the end, you can't small amount of air moving through, but consistent. Sounds. 
So when she was actually singing, when she was singing right before doing her cleans, she had very good breath control. And what I mean by that was that she was letting a very even small amount of air through her vocal cords rather than just dumping a ton of air out. The same thing is kind of happening when she goes to the scream where she's just not dumping all of her air out. She's having a very consistent amount of air. So a lot of the time when people say sing from your diaphragm, what they mean is to just have a really nice inhale and then hold on to that feeling of relaxation as you're exhaling so that you don't just dump all of your air out. We just hold on to this bigger feeling. So if you, if you exhale all of your air, blow all of it out, and then relax, your stomach should just be able to drop or push out a little bit. It, if you put, if you're monitoring with your hands, it might just pop your hands out a little bit when you do that release, that inhale. The next step when you're breathing out is to hold on to that feeling of release, that feeling of expansion, so that we don't end up collapsing your ribs. Because if you start collapsing your ribs a little bit, then it makes your breath flow a little bit more inconsistent. She's not doing that when she goes to the scream. She's keeping the same sort of breath support that she had for her singing when she's going to the screams. So it's a very even small amount of air and she's not gonna run out of air because she's not changing things drastically from what she was using for her successful cleans. So as she continued with that word, she didn't change how she was pronouncing the word. She didn't collapse her mouth as it went on or anything. She kept it open the exact same all the way through. She also kept the air moving the same amount all the way through. So we had a very even tone all the way through the word. Sometimes when uh, beginner singers are singing longer notes, they tend to change things throughout it rather than just holding on to what worked all the way through. Let me flash and when the winter cries Boys are swimming through the river All the life against the swim Such a bitter world As she starts jumping up to these really high notes for her, compared to the rest of the, the song, it's not like super high, I'm sure she can go higher, but as she jumps up to those, she didn't change her airflow. It still stayed very, very small and very consistent. She didn't start blasting it, she didn't change it at all. And that's the thing that's hard sometimes as you go to high notes is keeping things the same because it feels like we need to change something. She's proving you don't need to. The only thing that she's changing is she's adding a little bit of extra distortion on top of it. But the airflow is the same, so it's kind of like taking her cleans and her screams and just throwing them together so that it's like 50% and 50% rather than 100% clean and 100% uh, scream. So she's just finding this place in the middle because they're connected. There's this unifying thread between the two, and I believe that it's probably her airflow being really, really consistent. Looks just as easy as the other stuff for her. Yeah, I mean, that was super consistent. She looked like she had complete control when she was switching between her cleans and her screams. That one part near the end, I really loved where she went to those higher notes, 
just because I like to see that people can, not that they necessarily have to, but I think that it's good just as a technician and evaluating people, it shows me a lot about what they're doing vocally, how they approach their high notes. And I thought she did a really great job with it. She just added a little bit of extra distortion, but if she had taken away that distortion, it would have been just as easy and clean sounding as the rest of her cleans. So I, I think that she's a really good singer. I think that she has a lot of control over her voice. It sounds like a really sustainable sound to me. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go check out my description below where I have links to my Patreon and my Instagram and my website. Thank you.